Hey, what's going on, cats and kittens? You know what time it is. Madman here. Here. Right here. Hey, how you doing? Ooh. All right. So, why is my hair such a mess? Good question. Now, I've had this asked before. I've done, I know, at least one video. I think it was the messy pomp, you know, hair tutorial that I did using bro cream. So, you cats have asked me before, what about bro cream? Now, I've used bro cream since high school, but I only use it for specific purposes, and I'm going to give you guys a little tutorial and review on bro cream and how to use it. What is bro cream, you might add? This right here. I need to get more. I'm almost out. Damn! All right, on topic. What I'm going to do is I'm not going to be running straight bro cream, and I'll tell you why. Notice the sides and back. Now, they've been growing out very, very nicely. However... Brill cream alone is not going to be able to slick the sides and the back yet, okay? So I'm going to be running, um, here we go, I'm going to be running Sport and Wave along with the bro cream. The Sport and Wave is going to go on the sides and the back, got it? Bro cream will actually go on top. So let's start applying. All right, let's get some bro cream. Let's roll this thing. By the way, cats, when you start running low, always roll your tube. It helps get extra bro cream out. All right, let's see. Ah, there's a nice bit right there. So let's go ahead and start running it in the hair itself. Nice, 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 nice. Perfect. There we go. There's that wet look that I'm looking for. That wet, greasy look. All right, let me go ahead and wipe my hands off. Now I'm going to run the sport wave on the sides. And then I'm going to go over some different hair tips and hairstyles that you can do with bro cream and the different hair types and how to use it. Okay, let's run the sides and the back. See, when the sides and the back are still a bit short, you're going to have to run some kind of a, a decent waxy pomade in order to get them to slick and stay down and go the way you want them to go. All right, so I got bro cream on the top. I got sporting waves on the side. Boom. Now. Something to explain to you about bro cream or wild root or grooming clean. Any of the actual traditional proper old school greases. For instance, we know all know about Marie Superior. This is a wax based pomade. All right. Even Sport and Waves has a small bit of wax to it, a waxy consistency, but not much. The thing to know about these greases, grease and wax pomade will not mix. So if you put on a Murray's Superior Hold and then try to run Brill Cream through it, what's gonna happen, and this goes for Wild Root and Grooming Clean as well, what's gonna happen is the Wild Root, the Brill Cream, the Grooming Clean, whatever you're using, is going to eat the wax, okay? And that goes for Murray's Superior Hold, uh, Dax Red Can, which is like Murray's Superior Hold, um, you know, your beeswax, anything like that, the grease will actually eat and start separating the pomade, the wax pomade, from your hair. So either you're running grease or you're running a wax pomade, all right? One of the hair dressings that you can use that works very well with Brill Cream is Royal Crown. Bing! The reason being is because Royal Crown is not a waxy, thick pomade. So you know, bro cream won't eat it. Let's get to styling. I'm just gonna start off with the pick, even though it's not necessary, just for a little bit of shaping, just to see how it's responding, what I want it to do. And I'm gonna run through a few different hairstyles with you cats. Also, since the grease makes your hair slick and wet and shiny, you can use a regular comb for this, it's right through. So let's kinda do like your old school, traditional pompadour. Like such. By the way, I like to use my roller brush for the sides and the back. Works very, very well. So as you can see, here we go. We got the nice shine going on from the Brill Cream. It's looking good. Got more of your traditional, more of your traditional pompadour. You can even take a little piece of that hair and curl it down, and there you go. You got more of that like old school look going on. Let me just go ahead and slick that back up. You can also slick with Brill Cream, depending on your hair type. Now, one of the things I will tell you about hair type and bro cream is this. For people that have 
thin, straight hair. Brill cream will flatten your hair out, okay? It will flatten it, and you will not get a lot of volume out of it. For those that have the thick, curly, kind of wavy hair like I do, I've got the thick, you know, wavy hair, your hair will still have volume, you know, if you comb it right, it'll still have volume. However, it will not be strong enough to contort, it will not be strong enough to hold the hair and it will contort and curl whichever way it really chooses or whichever way you've kind of trained it to curl in, all right? Downsides of Brill Cream or Wild Root or Groom and Clean, any of your traditional greases, is it does not hold. It's not meant to. It's a wet, greasy consistency. There's nothing sticky about it. It will just flop. Look, I mean, my hair just goes wherever it wants to go now. Now it's messy. So you're going to have to comb it throughout the day. The thing also that's really nice about your Brill Cream is that you can do more of your curly type hairstyles. So for instance, if I wanted to do the elephant's trunk, kind of get a little basic elephant's trunk going on, well the Brill Cream is actually a pretty good grease to do that because the hair is loose and it keeps it looking nice and it'll curl, it just curls real nice. So you can kind of get your elephant's trunk going on. I also personally like to use a little bit of Sport and Wave just for some volume to kind of hold it up there if I want to go more extreme on the elephant's trunk. But as you can see, guys, I've got the elephant's trunk going right here. And I guarantee you, with Brill Cream and some Royal Crown or whatever I want to run with it, it will pretty much stay looking like this every day and I don't have to do much to maintain it. Okay, your pompadours are not going to be as easy to do because in order to do a pomp, your hair needs to be able to hold up come out and circle around or if you're doing the more uh, new school pompadour where it's going to go straight up and then you know kind of slick back or whatever bro cream ain't going to be very good for that however if you want to run maybe like a side pomp side pomps real, work real good with bro cream at least that's been my experience so you go ahead and comb the hair down i'm just going through this real quick i'm not going to spend all day trying to make it look perfect I just want to run through some of the different hairstyles that you can do with Bro Cream. All right, so let's go ahead and make the part right about here. Little half ass part, pull it down, hold it. Yeah, better than nothing, ain't too bad. Back down. Kind of get our side part going here. All right, let me go ahead and switch over to the smaller comb and I can really start doing detail work. That's gonna go here. It's nice to kind of have sides where I can start to do more of these old school traditional hairstyles, a little side part pompadour, which you guys don't think you've ever seen me really do. So I want my roller brush. Really pull that down. And if you need to, you know, run some more uh, sport and wave for those that have the shorter sides and back going on, then go ahead and run some more of that. And as you can see, we've got a pretty nice side pomp going on with the part. And I could definitely say Brill Cream, Wild Root, Groom and Clean are all good for this type of hairstyle. So if you really dig this, I would go with Brill Cream. You can even do like a a Murray Super Light, or you can even use like a Royal Crown hair dressing, and that will really help and assist to make it look nice and stay looking nice a little bit easier. And you just run a regular comb through it, boom. It'll get messy throughout the day. I mean, you move around, it's gonna flop, it's gonna do this, it's gonna do that. All you gotta do, boom. Oh, look at that. It's back. We're back in action here. See what I'm saying, cats? But again, I just wanna go over with you your Brill Cream, your Wild Root, your Groom and Clean. If it's a traditional old school type of a grease, for those with thin hair and it's straight are going to be able to do real good uh, slick back. It's real good for slicking the hair back, ducktailing it, pulling it in. Um, you might be able to get a decent side pomp going on. Uh, depending on how you have your hair cut and trained, you might be able to get a decent little pompadour. It will fall out over the day. For those that have the thicker and you know wavy curly hair like I do, any of your, you know, like your elephant's trunks or like jelly rolls or more of your 
uh, curlier type of greaser hairstyles, that's going to be really, really good for being able to have some volume, having that wet, greasy look, and it'll curl and roll because your hair is wavy or curly, and it'll just, it'll do you right. Also, quickly, before I end this out, I still have, I've been asked this, the uh, Mad Mads Maniacs t-shirts are still available. So are the Greaser Lives Matter t-shirts. So if you guys haven't seen that, go check that out. There's a link down in the description below. Also at the end of this video, you guys know the drill. Also came with another t-shirt, just released it yesterday. Check this one out, I think you guys might like this. That's right, devil without a cause. One other thing, for those that are maybe not so into like the whole greaser art, but still wanna support the channel, I did another type of supporter t-shirt. It's the uh, Cryptic Art Established 2016. Check that shirt out as well. And that's about it, guys. So, if you don't know, get a clue, get a brew, get a rock and roll tattoo, hang loose, be safe. The mad man is out. My hair's fucking messy again. Ah! Fucking broken! Fucking shit!